listen, I'm going to say this slowly. This needs to be the last video you watch. YouTube is in easy mode. You have all the power in your hands to make whatever it is that you want come to fruition. Check me out. If you've been thinking about making a YouTube channel, whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, don't matter how old you are, because right now it really doesn't matter. There is no better time to make a YouTube channel than now. Like, literally, I have never seen YouTube like this. The barrier for entry into YouTube is so low that anybody can literally just turn on their camera and start making quality content. And when I'm saying quality content, I'm not talking overly produced content where the editing is fancy, a great camera, a good microphone. I'm not saying none of that. Quality content is genuine content. It's content from you as an individual, what you like doing, how you like doing it, and what you bring to the table on YouTube. The barrier is at an all-time low. And that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. All that means is it leaves more room for people like you and people like me who are smaller creators and want to actually grow on YouTube. And when I say not overly produced, you know the type of videos I'm talking about. I'll be honest with you. I'm a professional videographer, photographer, graphic designer. I do branding and marketing and everything else in between. And guess what advantage that gives me? Damn near none. If anything, at this point of the YouTube game, it's a complete disadvantage for me because I'll see certain things on the camera and I know that it's not even that high quality. And guess what? They're still getting views. They still getting followers. And guess what? I wasn't getting. So don't think that just because somebody has more experience than you that they're actually going to have better videos than you because that is not the case anymore. YouTube is changing. It's in a golden era that I have never seen it been in before that people like you and me are blowing up. I personally have two good friends that I know that channels have gotten monetized over the last 90 days back to back. And they're completely different people. One of them is an older lady from one of my that friends I know. that I worked with. The other one is an old friend that I've known for years. You know what both of them have in common? They knew nothing about YouTube. They knew nothing about editing. They haven't been doing YouTube for long. And they both were consistent. So imagine me, like I said, the fancy videographer and graphic designer and all this stuff. And both of them have surpassed me. So at this point, I didn't even edit the video. I'm not going to lie to you. I could have done a whole bunch of fancy stuff. But at what purpose? If it's going to get the same amount of views as if I didn't edit it, why would I do such a thing? Also, I want to show you that even without the edited video, if this blows up and goes viral, you can come back and look to this video for motivation that you can do the same exact thing. When I say YouTube is in a golden era, what you got to understand is how YouTube was prior. YouTube was at war with all of the other social media platforms, particularly TikTok. TikTok exploded. TikTok is big. TikTok is amazing. And it provided a lot of growth and got a lot of people shook. It changed the way Instagram worked, Facebook worked, YouTube worked. Everything in between was affected by TikTok success. And when you're at war, you start to get into an arms race. Do things differently than what you priorly did before. YouTube introduced shorts. That was a major focus for them at that point of time. And it seemed like the only way you could grow is if you had shorts or if you was a bigger creator who was making super high quality content, the best of the best. They couldn't afford to actually have any wiggle room and lose out to TikTok because at that time, once again, TikTok was looking like they were taking over. YouTube's algorithm favored retention, quality, top tier production. The algorithm was not for people like you and me. It just wasn't. So trying to break into the YouTube game at that time was a totally different animal. Now, I'm not saying that those things don't still apply because they do. It's just the capacity at which they apply that's changed. And the necessity isn't an end all be all to high quality videos. So how is YouTube changing now and why is it in easy mode? Well, to put it simply, YouTube remember you. Or should I say you? I don't know. One of them. YouTube remember why people actually love the platform. YouTube been around for ages. It's not like TikTok. TikTok is a new kid on the block, but YouTube has been here since social media started to pop, to be honest. So with that, YouTube remember that they are not the chasers. They're the ones that people are trying to chase to be like. People are chasing them to be in their position. Regardless of TikTok success or what everybody else is doing, there will never be another place like YouTube as long as they continue to do what they've been doing. And that's support creators like us. And not to mention, YouTube is owned by Google. Yeah, like Google, Google. Like we shouldn't be chasing nobody or nothing, Google. 
And with that, here we are today. Listen, I'm going to say this slowly. This needs to be the last video you watch. You are now a creator. You have all the power in your hands to make whatever it is that you want come to fruition. All the odds are in your favor. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Don't confuse watching video after video after video as actual action to get towards YouTube and being a successful creator. Although it's a help that you watch videos, you're not actually moving forward and doing what you need to do to be where these other creators that are winning are doing. YouTube is an easy mold. So you can watch a million videos, but until you make your own and do your own thing, you're still stuck at the same spot. This is my motivation to you. This is my call to you to be exactly who you are. Nothing more, nothing less. And go make your video. I'm here to help you along the way. I definitely hope that this helped you. If it did, just show love. That's all I ask. And make sure that you tune into my journey because I'm going to be there. And I hope to see you there too. Timmy T signing off.